uh, <clears throat> welcome to my YouTube channel once again. Um, Maths with Ease by Mr. Kamotho. And in this video, I want us to understand example 2 of Algebra 7, still looking at quadratic equations. And the question says, solve these quadratic equations. And the first one is 9x squared minus 25 is equals to 0. 9x squared minus 25 is equals to 0. You realize that 9 is a square of 3 and 25 is a square of 5. And in such a question, I think the best thing, the first thing that comes in our mind is how to make x the subject of the formula. And we can only do that by adding 25 to both sides or rather having this negative 25 cross over to this other side so that it is going to be added and we are going to have 9x squared is equals to 25. To clean around x squared or rather to make x squared the subject we divide by 9 both sides so that x squared now becomes 25 over 9. But of course, we are not looking for x squared, we are looking for x. So we get the square root of both sides. And the square root of both sides, the square root of, um, of 5 is plus or minus 5. And the square root of 9 is plus or minus 3. So the answer is plus or minus 5 over 3. So one value of x is 5 over 3. And the other value of x is negative 5 over 3. And that is just like it. <clears throat> if you look at part B of the question, we are having 3x squared minus 12x is equals to 0. And this is a bit different because we can realize we have something in common. Between 3 and 12, 4 is common. And between x squared and x, x is common so um, um not not four is it's three which is common not four three is common no not four i i just uh, looked forward into 12 divided by three and my mind uh, realized it is four which i brought there but it is not the common factor four is coming somewhere uh, the second term within the bracket so 3x squared divided by 3x is of course x and now we have a minus 4 here you can see because negative 12 divided by negative 12x divided by 3x is negative 4 and this is what is still giving us 0 and we know that these are two terms or two uh, numbers which are multiplied to give us a product of zero and we know naturally it is either one of the number is zero or both of them are zeros let us assume it is 3x which is zero in this case the value of x is just zero divided by three which is zero what if it is now x minus four which is equals to zero which is now this bracket. If this is now the case, then x is equals to 4. And those are the possible values of x0 and a 4. Let us now go to part C of the question, which is 12x squared minus 24x minus 96, which is equals to 0. Um, you might get confused here because these numbers seem so big to look for the factors. But if you look at them closely, they have a common factor. Which, so that means we can apply a common divisor to actually make our equation easier to work with. That means we can divide every term by 12, every term by 12, every term by 12, even 0. We can divide by 12 so that we don't change anything. And what do we realize? x squared minus 2x minus 8 is equals to 0. 
There we are. Then we get the BAC approach. In this case, we just have something to do with B. Let us, um, let us talk of, let, let me bring the BAC, BAC approach here. So what is our B? Our B in this case is negative 2, as you can see it, because it should be in the general format of the quadratic equation, which is AX squared plus BX plus C is equals to 0. So our B happens to be negative 2, and our C happens to be negative 8, and our A happens to be 1. So AC is 1 times negative 8, which is negative 8. And then the two famous questions, which two numbers, when we add them, they give us a negative 2, and when we multiply them, they give us a negative 8. When we add them, they give us a negative 2. When we multiply them, they give us a negative 8. And it goes without saying that those numbers are minus 4 and positive 2. Minus 4 plus 2 is minus 2, and minus 4 times 2 is minus 8. So after that particular point, you realize that we should remember to break the middle term and substitute it with the two factors which have been realized. And our new equation looks like x squared minus 4x plus 2x minus 8 is equals to 0. At that point, we have to consider what is common in the first two terms. And of course, x is common. It is outside the bracket. I usually call them watchmen. So the watchman is outside and x squared divided by x. x is, in, is inside minus 4x divided by x minus 4 happens to be also inside the bracket. Who is the watchman in the next two numbers? Of course, positive 2. It is outside such that positive 2x divided by positive 2, we get x. Minus 8 divided by 2, we get minus 4. Close the bracket, and this is what is still equals to 0. At this point, these two brackets are identical, and we write, we write just one of them. And then the watchmen make their own association, or rather, we make a bracket um, that is... Uh, comprising of what the terms or the numbers uh, which were outside the bracket, and that is it. This is what we have now. Two numbers multiplied and the product is still zero. It is either one of the number is zero or both of them are zero. So if we consider x minus 4 to be the one which is equals to zero, then x is equals to 4. Or if we consider x plus 2 to be the one which is equals to 0, then obviously x is equals to negative 2. And that is the case, and that is the end of that example. Uh, subscribe, follow, share, and of course, let us work together.